Uh, what's up, y'all? Sparty here. Apologies for the uh, lack of a backdrop. <laughs> um, I'm just making a quick video, giving you guys a quick update as to the plans. Because, obviously, it's been a long-ass time since I've posted a video. And I may... I've Basically, I've been using the community tab to post updates and whatnot because it makes more sense than just putting out 18 different videos saying, this is what I'm doing now, guys, and all this other crap. So let's just get into this now. Um, so I think it was October. I pretty much announced that I'm getting the Xiaomi 12 S Ultra and do the whole a whole bunch of crap that's been going on i've had to constantly push that back hopefully within these next two weeks like the beginning of december i should at least have bought the 12s ultra by then and that will be the time in which i already have a case for it i just have to get screen protector which i hope the screen protector i get works good and doesn't impede on the in display fingerprint sensor in any way shape or form um i already got a case like i said thinking about you know what i'm going to potentially do with that and yeah we'll ultimately see what happens there i also plan on obviously v60 smaller project obvious like 100 300 dollars i'll end up getting that hopefully sometime around the same time sometime some Within the same time frame, damn it. And we'll ultimately see where that goes. Another thing is obviously the One Mark IV. Um, I told you guys that I was going to end up getting that as well. And I am. But, but I decided to go with the 12S Ultra first, mainly due to the fact that um, it's a little bit more of a... It's a game changer, to say the least. Not necessarily the first phone with a one-inch sensor, but it's the best performing phone at the moment with a one-inch sensor. Like, we had that, um... What was that phone? That Sharp that came out earlier in the year that had that same sensor, but it had focusing issues. It took longer to do things like... Like, to actually take the picture, the processing was a bit iffy and all that stuff. But now with the 12S Ultra, it has faster focusing um, since Sony and Huawei, Huawei, Xiaomi, worked together to, I guess, develop the, <laughs> to co-develop the sensor itself. It will obviously work better in a lot of different aspects compared to what the sharp had and the sharp was just very expensive so it's so it's like yeah we'll be getting that one mark four obviously we'll be giving my one mark three to my friend and in return in exchange rather i will be getting the one plus nine pro so that's actually going to be pretty exciting for me too because i did like the one plus nine a lot it's sad that i had to let it go but the OnePlus 9 Pro is something that I definitely will not mind getting. And due to a couple things that the OnePlus 10 Pro kind of walks back compared to the OnePlus 9 Pro, I think the 9 Pro is the better fit for me overall. It still has a very powerful processor. The cameras on that phone are still great. Um, so there's really nothing that I can see that would make me sit here and say that the OnePlus 9 Pro is a bad deal to exchange for my One Mark III when I literally get the same processing power. And I get a little bit more extra in terms of things like, say, larger image sensors, Hasselblad processing, which is very nice. And I will still have a Sony phone. I'll have the One Mark IV by then. So that's nice. Another thing, I do plan on getting the Steam Deck as well because... It would be interesting to try that sort of thing out. I've been one. I've been debating about it for a while. Um, but now I feel like maybe I wanted to see it mature a little bit because there were certain games that just wasn't weren't they weren't optimized that well for the Steam Deck. Now 
that it's been pretty damn popular and has been out for a while. More games have become optimized for it. You can do stuff like install Windows 11 on it. I know the Linux, the the Linux um, white knights will sit there. I was about to say a different word, but I don't want YouTube to get after me. Um, the Linux diehards, the Linux stands will sit there and say, oh, how dare you? And start sniffling and sniveling and doing all this stuff about me potentially doing that. I don't know if I'll do that yet. Obviously, you have to do stuff like reinstall an entirely new OS, which thus wipes the entirety of the thing of of the storage and all that stuff. So I don't know if I'm going to do it. If the Linux, if the Linux desktop environment on the steam deck works well enough, I might just end up keeping it the way it is. And that's most likely what it's going to be. So overall, this is just what I wanted to do. I wanted to give you guys a quick update. It's been a while. It's been a while. And I really do appreciate the fact that people are still watching. Even my older, my, older videos and still getting decent traffic to this smaller channel and i've seemed to not have lost a bunch of subscribers in the meantime so thanks for the support i guess if you want to do any sort of support beyond that i'll put my buy me a coffee link or whatever in the description below you don't have to do it it's just something if you want to do it you can like you know five three to one to five bucks doesn't really matter however much you want to put in there. Go ahead. Um, this is Sparta. Thanks for watching. Thanks for support. And um, hope you guys have a wonderful uh, going into Thanksgiving here pretty soon. So, uh, yeah. 